Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the new patch on my Magicka Arcanist this time with the new mythic item. This one here, Talk of the Last Alien King. It's a necklace. Reduce your damage taken by 15%, adds 1.3k weapon spare damage and adds 500 magic and stamina recovery. But in cost of all other item set bonuses, including the first, second, third and the fourth set piece bonus. So like HP, crit rate, spell damage, that kind of stuff. Is it worth a use of thing? I've tested it and I'm impressed. I'm not sure why exactly, but it seems to be stronger than it should be. I mean, think about it. Reduce damage taken by 15%. That's basically minor major protection combined, permanently up. 1.3k weapon spell damage, even if you combine two weapon spell damage sets, you will not get this high amount of weapon spell damage and 500 magic and stamina recovery means we don't need recovery food, recovery mundus or recovery glyphs. It's basically like a sustain set. My opinion, it's definitely good. Probably not a best in slot mythic item or best in slot setup. But for those who want to try something else, a one set piece PvP build, you can farm the thing in Infinite Archive. All five leads will drop there and you can actually play this mythic on every single build if you want. So you don't have to always retrade anything, farm new sets or make, make it golden. Put this thing on and you're Gucci to go. Even in battlegrounds against all other proc sets worked decent. The other sets doesn't matter, I simply used some pieces that I already had left. Obviously the glyphs and traits, armor types and weapon types are still important. I'm using a heavy chest in reinforced of course for the extra resistance, then four impen pieces with four light armor pieces and two medium, one well fitted, one sturdy here. Full prismatic glyphs definitely needed. We need the extra magic and stamina since we lose every uh, set bonus. Then on the jury, full infused, we don't need any recovery. We can go with full weapon spell damage. Sustain was no issue at all, even with ramp stage 3. Then front by lightning stuff in sharpened for the extra pen with the poison damage enchant. Make sure to use a poison damage enchant because we have crushing shocks and spare which also applies the burning status effect with flame damage and Edesas also procs the burning status effect. You could go with the flame enchant for a bigger uptime on burning. I prefer the poison enchant for the poison status effect. Back by nice stuff in defending with the berserk glue for extra weapon damage. So pretty basic in terms of trades, glyphs and armor types. Quick look on the skills. Pretty basic with inspired scholarship on the front bar, our weapon and spell damage buff and passively gives us 1k penetration, almost 1k with splintered secrets. Adoration, our CC, which also applies minor wool, 5% more damage taken, crushing shock, like I said, as spellable. Make sure to use this morph, costs less and even interrupts the enemy if it casts something. Then flail, the stamina morph, make sure to use this one to generate crux. Also heals, deals good damage and also applies the abyssal ink for 5% increased damage. Karma hunter for major savagery and major prophecy, 12% crit rate, minor berserk if you crit and flank enemy and passively slayer for 3% extra weapon spare damage. Offense ultimate, the tide king's gaze, really effective ultimate, ticks every 0.5 seconds. Alternative other ultimates like shooting star or ice comet or dawnbreaker they work too back by Edesas for major breach and a three status effect burning shield and concussion a must have on probably every one me x build race against time a snare removal for major expedition and minor force bigger a self heal and for the 3k armor with minor resolve imperious rune ward an extremely strong shield it makes you basically immortal for one second and even heals you if you have enough Crux. Crux Fever Armor as Resistance Buff also applies minor reach by the way, not a 3k penetration, and as Defense Ultimate, Sanctum of the Abyss of Sea makes you almost immortal for, it depends on how much damage you get, but for a maximum of 10 seconds. Alternative other ultimates like Temporal Guard, the Psychic Ultimate for minor protection, also work. Ray Stammer for the extra spell damage, Max Magicka and Stamina, and the Flame Resistance, really helpful as a Vampire, especially in Vamp Stage 3, we gain a ton of flame damage taken, 13% more. The flame resistance helps to reduce this value. As Mundus stoned a lot for the extra HP needed in this case. Keep in mind the mythic item also reduces the first, second, third and the fourth set piece bonus. So no HP bonifers. I'm at 132k HP with the M buff. Without I'm at 131k HP. Without the Undaunted passive. If you have the Undaunted passive, I would recommend the Apprentice Mundus or the Atalite Mundus for Magicka Recovery. Sugar Scouts, the Tricet food. 
we don't need Ozuga, we have enough Magicka and Stamina Recovery, Attribute Points, 25 Points Magicka and the rest in HP. Potions, the normal twice of Potions. CPs with Master Arms and Rawful Strikes, Ironclad and Duel's Rebuff, Sustained by Suffering, Pain Suffuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Combination, Pre-Buff Self with Scholarship, Armor Buff, Race Against Time and Vigor. Start to apply Elisas, Flail, Ultimate, Adoration, and then spam Crushing Shocks. That's it with another PvP, but thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.